your own grandma. All right, y'all. I'm Rose from Grandma Rose's Open Pantry, and that's Grandpa Roy behind the uh, camera. We are making a broccoli and chicken casserole today, but it's different. It's different than any I have ever made. It has some of the same ingredients, but the way you put it together, it's kind of like a layered uh, casserole. I've always just mixed everything together and stuck it in the oven and baked it. But this one is just, is different. So uh, I'm cutting my chicken breast in cubes here. Uh, and this is, this was too, uh, kind of big chicken breast. I would say that was about a pound of uh, chicken breast. Now I'm gonna put all this in the uh, sink. I've got bleach water in my sink. I'm gonna wash my towel, my dishcloth, and my bleach water. Clean all this off. All right, now I'm gonna set my chicken aside for a minute. Oh, and then I'm gonna get, I got all my other ingredients. I think I got all my other ingredients out. I hope I do anyway. Uh, what I saw was a nine by 13. This is not, this is like a 10 by eight or something like that. But- uh, It's about the same space. I didn't want, no, the nine by 13 is bigger. I didn't want the, uh, I didn't want that big of a casserole, so I'm just cutting mine some, but I'm gonna give you, well, what I saw did not give any, it didn't give any amounts of ingredients. I'm just kind of doing this as I go. So it, it just showed you how you they put it together, but they, did, they didn't give you how much broccoli, how much chicken, how much this, how much that. So I'm just kind of using my own judgment. So, uh, you put your, you lay your broccoli. Now this is raw broccoli, it is not cooked. In the bottom of a casserole dish. So you make this as big or as small as you want it. So, uh, all right, let me get all my, whoop. I don't wanna break these eggs. It's got three eggs in it. It's got, uh, Now, it didn't call for peppers, but I'm putting peppers in mine because we like peppers. Oh, uh, I need another knife here. So I'll just get this one. All right. That's your broccoli. You just leave it just like that. Now, I'm gonna cut my uh, peppers in strips, in just small strips. I'm not gonna put them in, uh, I'm not gonna cut them in cubes or anything. I'm just cutting them in strips. And you do as many as you want. Uh, this is about three quarters of a pepper. I've got a red one out, but I don't think I'm gonna use it because I'm not gonna need it for this amount of uh, broccoli. So I'm just cutting them in thin slices, just like that. All right, I'm gonna put that to the side. We're gonna do our tomato in a minute. All right, now our onion, you cut your onion in slices like this, round, well, mine's not round, but you're supposed to cut it in round slices. All right, let me do this one. This one will be easier. That was just a piece of one I had. This is the way you do it right here, in slices. Okay, that's probably gonna be enough. So that's the equivalent of one medium-sized onion. All right, I'm gonna put that to the side. Uh, now, I'm still gonna leave my tomatoes. I'm gonna put my onions over here. Don't think I'm gonna use that little piece of pepper. All right, now, this is our chicken. To our chicken, we're gonna add, this is a third cup of mayo. I'm gonna put just a fourth cup. Uh, I may add the rest of it, we'll see. 
I'll see how creamy it is because I'm just kind of doing this just as I go and uh, all right this is a half a cup of sour cream and I used about a third of it and I may add the rest nope I don't think so I think this is gonna be plenty creamy so that was a quarter cup of mayo and uh, a fourth cup a third cup of sour cream now I think I'm only going to add two eggs to this. The re what I saw, they added four eggs, but I'm not making this big of a casserole as they did. All right, you mix your eggs in. So I'm only going to do two eggs. And it's going to be, I think it'll be perfect. All right. Now I'm gonna add, and I forgot to get my garlic out, but I'll get it in just a second. Okay, you just stir your eggs up in your sour cream and your mayo. And if you want more chicken in yours, you add more chicken, but this was a plenty. One, one large chicken breast is plenty for both of us, one a piece. All right, now this is, this I think is gonna freeze really well. So, all right. I'm looking to see if I got, all right, Parmesan cheese. I was wondering why I got this measuring cup out, and it's to measure my cheese. Oh, uh, I'm not going to use Parmesan. I'm going to use this Italian blend right here. Okay. And in the first, I'm going to put salt and pepper. I'm going to put a half teaspoon of salt and a quarter teaspoon of black pepper. All right. And garlic, I'm going to add one teaspoon of garlic because garlic's just good and we love it. Okay. So that was half a teaspoon of salt, quarter teaspoon of black pepper, and one teaspoon of garlic, but the recipe will be in the description box. So you don't have to uh, hear a lot of them say, get your pencil and piece of paper now and write it down, but you don't have to do that because I always put mine in the description box. And you don't make them pay prescri prescription. Uh, no. Some prices you to get to your recipe membership just to get the recipe well you know what no you can have my recipe <laughs> i always put it in the description box all right that is i'm gonna put that's a half a cup uh i'm gonna put about all right that's three fourths of a cup of italian blend cheese now your Italian blend cheese has a uh, part skim mozzarella, uh, provolone, Parmesan, Romeo, uh, Romano, <laughs> uh, Fontina, and Asiago. All right, now, I'm telling you this, it just looks so good. Now, the reason it's layered is you put your mixture over the top of your broccoli. Honey, let me get this around. Okay. I don't want to cover up the... I'm wondering about the mushrooms over here. I'm going to put... You'll find out in a minute. Okay. I told you it was layered. I just got ahead, didn't I? <laughs> you, you do. <laughs> All right. Now, you put that over your broccoli, just like that. And I hope my dish is uh, big enough. All right. Okay, I'm just trying to get all that back down over that broccoli. All right, now. I'm going to lay my peppers across it like this. Just like this. Now you can leave the peppers out if you don't want peppers in yours. But we love peppers. And so if I can add another healthy vegetable, I will. I usually do. 
All right, I've only got two more slices, so I'll put them like right there. Now, I think I'm gonna put my mushrooms next. So I'm just gonna put a few mushrooms. Now this was not in what I saw, but Roy loves mushrooms. So I'm gonna cut, I'm gonna cut these smaller so you don't get a big chunk of mushroom. And I'm not gonna put a whole bunch, but I am gonna put a few because I just think they would be good. And Roy would love it. So put as many as you want in yours. All right. That's our mushrooms. Now, our onion comes next. Uh, yeah, I think I've got everything. So you just take and lay your onion rings around over your mushrooms and your peppers, over everything else. When you cut them in circles, just separate them. Okay. If y'all have ever made a broccoli and chicken casserole like this, let me know. <laughs> Cause I never have, it just looked good. And I said, you know what? I like trying new things. So we'll try it. And if it works, if it's good, that's a good thing. And if it's not, I won't make it again. All right, now, I'll get my tomato knife and they, what I saw, they use the big tomatoes, but I don't have big tomatoes. I just have these little romas. So you cut them in circles also. Put them on top of your onions like this. All right, we'll do another one. And then we're going to sprinkle Parmesan cheese on top of this. So, it looked really good. And I wanted to try it just to see how it was going, how it was going to turn out. I mean, the flavors in it, they will be good. And you, ha you cook it an hour. Uh, that way everything gets done in it. Uh, okay. All right. Now. Let me pull all this over here. And get my Parmesan cheese. And you sprinkle Parmesan cheese. Let me get this Parmesan cheese. This is fresher than the other. Okay. And you just sprinkle Parmesan cheese over the top. Now this is shredded right here. If you don't want Parmesan cheese, you can put the Italian blend. You can put whatever cheese you want on yours. Uh, but I just, that's what they use, so that's what I said I would use. Alright. Now, this goes in a 350 degree oven for 50 to 60 minutes. So, you know what? We're going to put it in a 350 degree oven for 50 to 60 minutes. So we will see how this turns out. We'll see y'all in a little bit. Well, it looks good, Grandma. Doesn't it? It really looks good. Okay. Okay, y'all. I want y'all to look. Man, can you see that? Oh my goodness. That's a feast roll. You this, can't call it a casserole. I'm telling you. Oh. Now. Isn't that gorgeous? After I put it in the oven, I got to thinking and I said, you know what? That's not going to cook in 50 minutes with the veggies raw, the chicken raw. So I covered it with aluminum foil for 40, 45 minutes. Then I took the foil off. I sprinkled a little Italian seasoning on it. I put it back in the oven for another 20 minutes. So it cooked 25 plus, uh, no, 45 plus 20, 65, an hour and five minutes. 
it takes that long to cook it because it's got your raw veggies and your raw chicken in it. Ready? Oh my. Ready? You talking about this low glycemic heaven. Y'all, this is beautiful. Look at that. Wow. This is all free to eat. Mm, I am just, whoo. I know this, I know this Ooh. is gonna be delicious. Looks beautiful. Wow. Mm, oh my goodness. Y'all look at there. Get some of those mushrooms. And your veggies are, oh, uh, what baby? I'm gonna get a knife. Oh, your veggies are whole, oh my goodness, look at that. Beautiful. They're not mushy, they're, oh. You talk about appetizing. Y'all, that is a beautiful, beautiful. Okay, I'm getting chicken, broccoli, peppers. Oh wow, that's gotta be good. Mm. Tomato. Mm. And I want a piece of onion. Mine. Mmm. Mmm. No. That's good. That's better than a regular broccoli casserole, isn't it? That's not a broccoli casserole. That's a vegetable casserole. No, it's got chicken in it. If you leave out the chicken, it will be a vegetable casserole. And it will be delicious without the chicken. Everything has chicken in it. God no. gave, gave us chicken so we can have it and everything. No. Mmm, y'all. I love it because you can taste every layer of flavor. You can taste your onions, your peppers, your tomatoes, your broccoli. I mean, you taste, it's not a, all mixed up together. It is, wow. That's delicious. That's really, really good. This is going to be my... Doesn't taste like uh, any mm -mm. casserole no. mm -mm. to me no. that you've ever cooked. No, it doesn't. I love it. I'm that. amazed because I had no idea when I started making this <laughs> how it was going to turn out. I knew we loved all the veggies. We loved all the flavors, but I never had done one like this, so mm -hmm. I didn't know how the flavors mm -hmm. were going to blend, but it's wonderful. Wow, wonderful. The uh, onions are a little al dente, which we, and the peppers, which we really like. Wow. Yeah, the onions is the reason I got the knife out. Mm -hmm. Oh, mm. I'm not even gonna count any kind of glycemic load here mm -hmm. because it's just, mm -hmm. these are all basically- it's nothing. No glycemic load. Okay, y'all. You've got to try this one. Mm. Talk about healthy and mm -hmm. good. Now I would tell you if it wasn't good. I was a little apprehensive. I knew we loved all the flavors, but I wasn't sure. So. Well, I'm here to keep her honest. But I will be I making this. I don't let her uh, let her fake it out. If it ain't good, she has to be honest. <laughs> As a matter of fact, I think this is so pretty. It's going on my Thanksgiving table. We go to church together, so I would tell on her. And use the orange peppers in it. The orange peppers with the white onion and the red tomato is, and the green broccoli shining through. It's just beautiful. Just really pretty. And do put, sprinkle the Italian seasoning on top. Okay. Listen, we told you. We can't help it if you're unwilling to fix you one of these. Mm. Food feeds the family, family feeds the heart, God feeds the soul. Oh yeah. Put deliciousness. And that'll freeze. Yeah. So if you if you need a small one and still that's too much, just yeah. make a small one and make half the recipe. Mm -hmm. Or if you want a big one, double the recipe. Oh, this yeah. is easy to half, it's easy to do. You're double. talking about a Thanksgiving uh, dish. Uh huh. That's a wonderful Thanksgiving dish. All right. Beautiful. We mm -hmm. will see y'all next time. Love you. Thank y'all.